Hey guys, I decided to make this video on the go because I'm still a bit unsure where should I film my videos. So let's give it a try. There was a post slash interview on the genetic benefits of eating meat that was sent to me and I was asked for my opinion. So I thought it's a really cool topic and I'm really, really interested in seeing this research. That's why I just checked out the research papers. There was a research paper that has shown that eating red meat is associated with increased telomere length. First of all, we need to know what telomeres are and why they are important. Telomeres are repeating sequences at the end of our DNA on our chromosomes and they protect our chromosomes so they don't merge, they don't fuse and no other really harmful things are happening in our cells. And when our cells replicate, all the chromosomes replicate and all the time when the cell divides then the telomeres get chopped off and get a little bit shorter. So with increasing age, also the telomeres get shorter and shorter telomeres are associated with aging, with all kinds of diseases like cancer and in contrast, longer telomeres are associated with longevity. Back to this paper. This paper found that long telomeres or longer telomeres were present in the people who ate lots of red meat. Another interesting thing this research study has shown was that actually smoking has no effect on telomere length and also physical exercise, which is a little bit surprising because uh, all of us know that smoking is bad for your health and that exercise is good for your health. And actually there are other research studies that have shown that red meat consumption is associated either with shorter telomeres or had no effect on telomeres. So, that's kind of confusing. What is the problem? Well, first of all, the first research study I spoke about had only 28 subjects. That's where it was shown that red meat consumption is associated with longevity. However, the other research studies had up to 70 times that many subjects. One research study had 840 subjects and the other research study had 1958 subjects. And both of these research studies with a higher subject number haven't found any association or even found that consumption of red meat leads to shorter telomeres. This means that the first study was actually statistically underpowered. And actually when the researchers have seen the findings, they were surprised themselves. And they told that they actually expect that the results will change after three years because it's a follow-up study. So they do one measurement and then after following the people for three years and also their dietary pattern and also their lifestyle, how much they smoke, how much they exercise, they will do the measurements again and they actually expect to find different things later. Take home message. One should look at the collective evidence. One shouldn't make a point just by cherry picking research studies. If there are many research studies with a much higher subject number, that show the opposite, you can't just rely on one research study that is very likely underpowered and got some really questionable findings to make your point. And here at this point I want to say that it's not the researcher's fault what they have found, that their findings were most likely really questionable. No, they have just reported what they found. The problem is that some people who maybe don't understand enough about science or haven't even read the entire research paper, haven't had a look at the subject number and haven't done literature research to look for collective evidence, just cherry pick a study to make uh, their points. That actually is a problem. So that's it for now. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and comment below if you have any questions. And let me know what do you think about this video format where I just walk around through the city and shoot the video. I would love to hear what you think. Have a nice day and see you in the next video.